Hi everyone, it's Bobby. I wanted to show you these really pretty cards I made today. These, I'm, I'm going to call them tie-dye butterflies because that's what they remind me of years ago when people used to tie-dye shirts and stuff. I've used various papers, card stocks, and, and ribbons to embellish these and I'll have all the listing of the supplies uh, below the video when it posts, but I just wanted to show you how I did the butterflies. I'm not going to go through all the card making, cutting the papers and stuff, because it's everybody pretty much knows how to do that. Uh, these two are uh, bottom to, or top folds. They are five and a half wide and four and a quarter from top to bottom. This one is the four and a quarter wide and five and a half tall. So on this one, I've just used two pieces of the. Um, washi tape that we had in the occasions catalog a while back and then I've used the basic pearls to uh, embellish each one of the butterflies and this one has some of the gold uh, thread behind it so I'll have all the supplies listed on the website but I wanted to show you how I did the butterflies it's real easy to do and it's kind of addicting I got started doing it and I just kept making butterflies So. What I've got here is just a piece of a plastic mat, some uh, wax paper, and then about four thicknesses of paper towel. And it's really fun to do. The first one, I'm just going to do them on the small butterfly. And I've got a bottle, of, a spray bottle of water, and you're just going to spritz your butterfly and get it pretty, pretty wet. And this is watercolor paper that I cut these out of. And then just take your uh, re-inkers and drop it from the center. Now watch it just spider out. It's really cool. Look at that go. Isn't that neat? Put a drop up here. Whoops. I missed. And on this one, that was elegant eggplant. And I'm going to use sweet sugar plum with this one and then after I got them all done I just went back and looked through my papers to see what I had that would go along with the colors that I had put on here now you can take your paper towel and kinda smush it on there and make it spread around you can add some more water to it to spread it. I've got quite a bit of pooling right here. I'm going to soak up some of that so it doesn't take so long for it to dry. I need some more of the sugar plum over here. It's kind of and then I'll put some more water on it. I just thought it was really a, a neat technique. I'm just going to lightly soak up a little bit of it and let it kind of run. It turns out really cool and the colors are all mixed together. Now I'll put another one over here. I'm going to grab some more paper towels real quick. Okay. I may need them, huh? Okay, I'm going to spray another one over here towards the side. Put a piece of... Yeah, that's right side up. And I'll spray this one down. I hope you can see good. I don't want this great big puddle right there. Okay, this one is Tangelo Twist.
Look at that. Isn't that cool? And this one I think is Hello Honey. I'm missing the edges and hitting the colors mix. You can see a spot that looks pretty wide that I want to have a little bit more color on it. Okay. So I'm going to let those two dry. I'm going to lay these over here. And I'm going to put some more paper towel down here on this plastic. I've got one more to do. It was so much fun to do these, I tell you. Okay, here's the third one. You can just go wild with your colors. It's just... Okay, let's put Dapper Denim. I haven't used it. Even on the first cards. Ooh, look at that. And this is Flirty Flamingo. I just love this. It's so much fun. <laughs> so I hope you like this technique. I thought it was really neat. I'm calling it tie-dye butterflies. For lack of a better terminology, that's what it reminds me of. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Then you'll know when there's another video out. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.